What is going on, guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm your host, the one, the only tactical ace. Uh, first off, welcome to my channel. This channel is going to be geared towards doing everything, whether it's racing or whether it's tactical combatives. Today, we are starting off the channel right with some War Thunder ground battles here. So if you guys are new to the channel and you do like this and you want to see more of channel, make sure that like button, subscribe button, and the notification bell down down below to stay up to date with everything on the channel. Alright, put this on for you guys so y'all can see. And now with that being said, let's get this party started, baby. Hopefully we can bring in some wins, Good man. That'd be nice. Driver ready. Gunner ready. Loader ready. Advance. Now it looks like we're... I'm not sure where we're at here. But I am going to veer off this way just to kind of... Get in there a little bit. Because I want to try to come around. I want to try to get them when they ain't looking here. See how it's in there. Whoa, it's in there. It's water pretty good. Okay. So it's kind of low. We've got not going to handle. Okay, we out here moving. Oh. Fuck. 
You ain't going nowhere, buddy. I see you over there, partner. You guys, you guys, you know, I'm trying to be very slick with how I do this. Your boy took third on the team. Let's go. No, I didn't want planes. I wanted military. I wanted an army. But as you guys can see, man, this game is very, very intuitive. Like, it's very good. Like, it's very well done. It is the most realistic war game out there to date. It's very, very fun. A lot of fun, actually. I absolutely love it. Into your vehicle. All right, so we're we're running the same one of them. Let's run her back. See if we can take another way. But as you guys saw last match, I was trying to be as I was trying to be as tactically smart as possible with hiding the tanks in the brush. Oh. Out there pulling some Colin McCray rally shit in a freaking army tank. Let's go. As you guys know, I do like to kind of go more off-road, quite often, perhaps because of the fact that I don't want to end up getting hit, and that's something that a lot of people don't realize, but with games like this, you kind of have to play it smart. You have to play it tactically, because if you don't, you're dead. Like, you always got to be thinking a step ahead of your opponent. Like, you got to know where to hit them, where to strike, when they strike, when they go. See, like right here, I'm coming around back behind this guy.
knock him. That's how you get a sneak attack, ladies and gentlemen. Our reward. What do we get? All right. All the answers I got double reward. Now I do have other countries that I can use the tanks of, like you got Israel, you got Sweden. But I tend to use the US because their tanks are a lot smaller and it makes them harder to hit. Like it really makes them harder to hit you when you're in the middle of a battle. Like, it's not that easy for an enemy to lock onto you. To battle. Ready up. Try to ready. Got her ready. Load her ready. I don't know why the hell these guys are free firing.
This map is definitely a hard map to survive if you don't know what you're doing, for sure. I've got on here quite a few times. Like, you're gonna get it, boys. I'm ready to rock and roll and rock and load. I'm gonna head out out for the sea here. Hell yeah, let's go. good strategy that's why you lose see I went in there but I didn't have a very good strategy I thought I did and I didn't that was a my bad situation but for now I do want to switch over to a different I do want to switch over to a different tank, for sure. 
I want to try out Britain's tanks, man. I've never really tried their tanks out. Bro, I think got a long barrel on it, man. My god. Ready up. Driver ready. Gunner ready. Loader. Ready. I don't know if I can work through this. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I didn't that real Now we still stand a real shot. They're all gathering me up on A, I've noticed.
That's why I cannot stand that map. Like, I like it. It's a good map, but if you don't know how to navigate your way around... Like, you're, you're screwed. Now I said I will not only be doing games like this, I'll also be doing uh, Conqueror's Blade, which is more of a medieval military style game. Very similar to Dynasty Warrior. Or Samurai Warriors. Whichever game you subscribe to, whatever, whichever game you play the most. But it's going to be very similar to that. Well, it is very similar to that. Um, I will be playing, you know, a little bit of racing here and there and whatnot, so... We about to get it in, man. Like, I'm definitely excited to take this channel to that route of doing racing, gaming, tactical stuff on here. You know, everything like that. Crew positions. Button up. Driver ready. Gunner ready. Loader ready. Advance. Roger that. Advance. Oh, it's not really my standard shot at winning this. 
I got a new profile icon. Now, just to kind of finish this off, I do want to jump into just an aerial battle real quick. Now I do want to research some newer tanks real quick just to give myself that extra Awesome, so I am making some headway here. Next up will be these tanks right here. Dude, I can't wait to get this tank right here, man. That thing looks gnarly. Okay, Trans got a few good things here. Now to finish this off, I do want to do some military air battles real quick just to kind of finish this off. You know what I mean? You guys got to watch me do a bunch of tank matches. Now, it's time to watch. It's time for you guys to watch me do some aerial battles. Ah, 
opening to the ground. He's right above me, I'll see him. I 
I'm gonna need to fly low and fast. Woo! That was too damn close. I uh, know, let's do one more air battle here. Let's do my personal tasks are. Oh, I decided to show us that, okay.
right in between those guys. Man, I took a guy out with me, man. I took a dude out with me. At least I took somebody out with me early in the match.
I got smoked by that Mustang, bro. Oh, it's like we have some events going on. So, it looks like we got a few events going on here. I'm trying to remember which country it was that had the... Ah, here we go. Let's use this little monster real quick. But as you guys can tell, man, this game is super immersive and just so well done, dude. Like, this game is so much fun. It's very tactical. It's very hyper-realistic. Uh, I did not want ground-to-air battles. I wanted air-to-air -air combat, not ground combat. Let's do one final air arcade battle here. And hopefully this time we can walk away with the win, dude. As you can tell, it, keep, it very much keeps you on the edge of your seat. It really does. It keeps you on the edge of your seat to where you don't know whether you're going to win, lose, draw. You don't know. Final air battle of the day, man. Hopefully we can walk away with the win, and hopefully I don't die this time around. So, time for some top gun shit. Oh wow, this thing is really good. First target.
I did not even see that guy coming, man. My God. But y'all, that will do it for this episode of War Thunder here on the channel. If you guys do like this, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe button, and notification bell down down below. To stay up to date with everything on the channel, tactical ace related. And uh, yeah, like I said, I will be doing more stuff um, related to this kind of stuff. Like air combat, tank combat, naval combat. Uh, maybe a few first person shooters here and there. It's just basically anything tactical and military style gameplay related. And uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy it, like I said, smash the like button, subscribe button, and notification bell button down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video, man. As always, stay humble, stay positive, keep being awesome, keep being yourself. And as always, stay tactical. And stay ready. Peace.